Well, I must admit, I have actually been really looking forward to this aircraft model, but can it live up to the expectations? We'll find out after the drop. And with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at a Boeing 7478F of Silkway West Airlines. At the front of the box, we have the cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside. And on top of that, we have the Silkway West Airlines branding. Then the backside of the box is unfortunately another Harper failure. We have another cutout, which is completely pointless. It makes the box look cheap and it is not protective of my model. So the only thing of interest here is simply that it says that it is a wings club edition, which is great because it should mean additional detailing and that it is a limited edition. But before we get too far into today's review, it is worth mentioning that this aircraft model does come with a stand. And here she is, the Boeing 7478F of Silkway West Airlines. Now, the parent company of this airline is simply known as Silkway, but most Western-built aircraft are operated by the company's subsidiary, which is called Silkway West Airlines. But for simplicity reasons, I will from now on just refer to this as Silkway, because honestly speaking, it is pretty much the same company. So, it is a Harper Wings Club model, and that does of course normally mean that it should have a lot of additional detailing, but we have been a little bit burned as of late with Harper Wings Club models, which then turned out to be completely standard. So, can this model really give us this little extra bonus in detail? Let's find out by taking a look at the tail section, where we on the vertical stabilizer find the Silkway branding. On the fuselage, we then have the Silkway West Airlines branding, the full registration code of the aircraft and the airline's web address. At the very tail of the aircraft, we do also have a little bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. And while the aircraft model does not feature any physical antennas, they have been indicated in the print, which in my opinion is a perfectly valid compromise for a scale 500 model. At the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage, we then again find the Silkway branding with the little addition of Azerbaijan Cargo, which of course is because the parent company is based in Azerbaijan. We do also find signs of that when we look just above the Silkway branding where we have the Azerbaijani flag. We do also have some lovely small detailing, some static ports and even some patter tubes printed on here, which I think looks really, really nice. And we do also have some lovely detailing around the cockpit section with the emergency hatch for the cockpit just above the cockpit windows, then of course the cockpit windows themselves with the window wipers, and also some small sensors again just underneath the cockpit windows. Small tiny details, but they do add a lot to an aircraft model. And then we have the engines, or more specifically the engine nacelles, which have been kept in this dark blue color matching the Silkway color scheme. We do also, of course, have the Silkway branding printed on, as well as the silver leading edge and some safety relevant markings. So that does actually look rather nice. Also, the physical detailing is, I think, really great with the chevron nozzles pulled off very nicely. And also, when we look into the engines from the front, we can very nicely see the engine fan blades. And also, the wings are worth a look. So if we start off with the top side we can see the different flaps that's the spoilers have been carved out very nicely and we even have the marking as to where to walk on the wing very nice indeed and then on the underside we again have some nice physical detailing and also the full registration code of the aircraft and i am also rather satisfied with the landing gear here we can see the main landing gear underneath the wings where i think Harper has done a very good job and also the front landing gear looks rather decently executed and of course what also makes me very happy is the fact that i have added some printed details to the landing gear, in this case, the last three letters of the registration code. And then last but not least, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here in the back of the aircraft, here at the front of the aircraft, then of course also the main hatches and the back and at the nose of the aircraft, but you should know that they are only indicated in the print, so they cannot be opened and are therefore, of course, not interactive. So there we have it, the Boeing 7878F in the current standard livery of Silkway from Happy Wings and Scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? Overall, I have to say I'm really, really happy with this aircraft model. I think the livery suits the 7478F very well, but that is, of course, in the eye of the beholder. The physical detailing of this aircraft model is of a very high standard, and Haber has done a very, very decent job with this aircraft model. I really couldn't find anything where I would be unhappy. 
The print quality itself is also of a very high standard and of course it is really lovely to see some additional details, although they do come at a cost because this aircraft model does retail at 39 euros 95, so 40 euros. And Honestly, for that price, I would even have expected a little bit more. For example, I do not understand why on a Harper Wings Club model to date it is not standard to have, for example, the landing lights included. Nonetheless, the details they have added, they have done so very well and it is a very nice looking aircraft model, although definitely too pricey in my opinion. But if you like freighters, then this is definitely one of the better ones you can get from Harper Wings and therefore I would say yes, absolutely, this aircraft model is worth having in one's collection. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. With that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.